Okay, week 43 done. Now let's come on to the best triathlete on the planet. Alistair, is that fair to say? Or are you too modest? Uh, well, thank you very much. It's, it's obviously a massive compliment. Um, I think uh, it's probably one of the biggest cliches in sport, isn't it? That you're only as good as your last race. And I was third in that. So, um, yeah, maybe not at the moment. <laughs> Alistair, you sound like our boss. You're only as good as your current week. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Completely agree with him. <laughs> Alistair, how does it feel when you watch that back of yourself in action? Yeah, I don't like watching myself too much. So I wasn't actually uh, watching <laughs> it. But yeah, um, I mean, some of it feels like a very long time ago now. You know, even um, I guess the last Olympic Games that was in Rio over four years ago seems. Um, yeah, a lifetime ago in so many ways. Um, yeah, sport does move so fast and you, you've kind of got to in lots of ways. Um, you know, you've got to, you, you have a, a great race and um, you've almost got to get up, not quite the next morning, but you know, a few mornings after and you've got to get back on um, back on the bus as it were and uh, get back in the swimming pool training, back on the bike and, and back running. To be, to be a, a world champion at one sport is obviously massively, massively Im impressive. To be a world champion is something that involves three different sports that are all quite different, so different parts of the body. I mean, that's, in, that's incredible. What on earth made you want to go down that route as a kid? Yeah, well, thank you very much. Um, I don't know is the honest answer. Uh, I, as a, as a young kid, as a, a six-year-old, I started swimming. My mum was quite into swimming. Um, started running just afterwards, you know, like cross-country and stuff that everyone does at school. And for some reason, I enjoyed it. Um, and. Uh, soon after that, I actually had an uncle who was doing triathlon, he was doing Ironman, and I thought, oh, I want to give that a go, and I think as, as an eight-year-old, that was it. I was um, I was kind of hooked, and, and obviously, you know, as an eight-year-old, you don't think, right, this is what I'm going to try and do as my career and for, for the rest of my life, but just kind of gradually through my teens, I did more and more of it, um, became more and more competitive, and, and that was it, really. By the time I was 18, 19, I was, um, yeah, fully, uh, fully, kind of, uh, you, you know, doing all I could to be the best athlete I possibly could. You're from quite a sporty background, aren't you? I, I was reading that your your dad was a runner, your mum was a swimmer, and then you've obviously got two brothers as well as yourself. So sport was in the family when you were growing up, I guess. Yeah, sport, um, definitely uh, sport. You know, my mum was really competitive swimming and, and my dad was a, a runner and stuff. But I think more than anything, it was just a, a lifestyle of being active and, and being, you know, outside. And uh, you know, I remember just being really young and like being told to like, you know, we're climbing this hill or walking across this moor, and that, it's just the kind of thing that we did. And um, I think more than anything, actually, that was that's the thing that has kind of led me to, to doing sport because I, I think like sport has to become, you know, it's not just something you do; it's not your your hobby, your job. Um, it, it's got to be kind of your lifestyle in lots of ways because you, you're getting up in the morning, you're going training, and then you're coming home, you're going training, and you're coming home, you're going, you know. So um, you, you have to enjoy it. You have to enjoy, I think, being outside. You have to enjoy the activity. You have to be inspired by um, being outside and, and the small things because you know you can't sit on the sofa and prize yourself off the sofa three times a day to go training. That, that's not going to be sustainable for, for months and years. And is that? So three times a day training, is that once for, for one cycling, one swimming and one run, I, I guess, or does it not work like that? Yeah, most days. Um, I don't uh, train three times quite every day, although most days and some days, like uh, a Monday, actually it's swimming, cycling, running and gym. So um, yeah, I mean, three, three or four times most days, I guess like yesterday, for example, uh, it was longer stuff. So I was out cycling for nearly four hours and running for nearly two hours so that was only two training sessions but it's like a, a long six hour day of uh, activity. I, I wouldn't want to compete against you for calories on an Apple Watch. How many calories <laughs> do you do in a day? Yeah I don't um, track it so much like on a watch or anything um, but yeah I, I think it can be between three and five thousand of uh, basically expended like kilojoules and kilocalories as it, as it were. Um, yeah, and you, you got to try and eat well. One of the challenges is actually um, you, you've got to eat quite a lot, uh, but actually, but not fill it with. Um, and especially as I got a bit older, you've got to not eat it like rubbish. And um, you know that's easily it's the same as everyone. You know everyone knows this. We all know how to eat and um, have a healthy diet. Yeah, every single one of us knows that. But doing it is the it is the difficult bit. So. Um, yeah, you know, when, when you've been out cycling, whatever, for a few hours in, in the cold and 
wet weather, the first thing you, you want to come home and you know you want to replace those calories with chocolate in the in the chocolate cupboard. And uh, yeah, you know you, you still got to try and replace it with like decent food, um, obviously like good whole grains and, and fruit and veg and stuff. I'm surprised you find the time to eat with with that sort of training schedule. Well, yeah, um, no, sometimes, I mean, even, I mean, I'm very lucky that, um, you know, my job is literally what I, I wanted to do since I was an eight year old. And uh, but, and even in a big day, you know, say uh, a six hour training day or, or the very biggest kind of day, I might do a seven hour training day. You know, there's still quite a lot of hours in the day there um, to eat, to sleep, to rest, uh, to do to do the other stuff. Um, not saying it's easy, but, you know, compared to people who are working like 10, 12 hour days, uh, yeah, if I do a six hour training day, I've still got six hours of time to, to do my other stuff. Your, your medals list is, is, something out, is something else. Two Olympic titles, gold medals, 2012, 2016. Two time triathlon world champion, two time world team champion, four time European champion, Commonwealth champion, MBE, sports science degree, and a master's in finance. Uh, that's not a bad list, mate. I think most people would be would be proud of that. What's the greatest achievement out of all of those, or, or maybe something I've missed? Um, I, I think that the Olympic uh, titles, obviously. You know, I um, I remember watching the Olympic Games uh, in 1996 in Atlanta, and then triathlon actually was the first time the first time it was in the Olympic Games was in Sydney in 2000, and I stayed up in the middle of the night as a 12 year old to watch it and I, I didn't think in you know it seemed completely irrelevant to me you know I thought it's an amazing thing to watch and this event's incredible and it's so special but uh, you know it's what special people do and I'll never be there and then um, eight years later in 2008 I was on the start line in Beijing um, blew up and came 12 but then uh, the next two times after that obviously got, got it right and won in, in London Rio and um, yeah, they were both the, yeah, the the kind of highlights. I think you know London in lots of ways. Um, cause I'd known about that event for so long um, for the seven year. You know, I remember being at school in 2005 when um, it got announced that the Olympic Games in 2012 were going to be in London. And obviously, I was already doing a lot of sport. And the school headmaster was like, "Oh, wouldn't it be amazing if you could be there?" And I was like, "Yeah, no chance." But you know, great, great thought. And um, yeah, so you know, I probably thought of that race that event um most days in those seven years and so to actually be there um you know i guess to be a favorite to cope with the pressure uh, and actually pull it off and cross the finish line at that point was um incredibly special please do subscribe hit the button